All right, guys. So we're going to work with parent functions here. Uh, so parent functions themselves, uh, they look like this. Let's just kind of, let's just write this base formula down. A, and then we're going to do BX minus H plus K. All right. So this right here, this format is what we're going to use for everything that we see. Because you guys have some certain ideas or certain things that you can, can look at. And we're going to look at two specific instances. We're going to look at parabolas, which are our U-shaped ones. And we're going to look at absolute values. Which are our V-shaped ones here. Okay, now. This is, this is the difference between the two. When we look at their parent function, y is equal to a times x plus, oops, minus h. x minus h squared plus k. And this one is y equals a times the absolute value of b x minus h oops we gotta get the absolute value sign there plus k let me change this here real quick guys i would put a b in front of that it's a bad habit of mine b x I'm going to rewrite that just a little bit. A times BX minus H. Okay, so here's the idea. So we call A, which is what we used to call uh, steepness or our, our amplitude, we call it what's called the dilation. So it's either going to make it wider Or narrower okay and then our B or I should say our H divided by B is going to be our horizontal shift but they also call it a translation okay and then K is our vertical shift, or what is known as a translation. Okay, there's one more thing. When A is negative, it reflects. on the x axis in other words it flips over okay and then <clears throat> and then if b is negative when b is negative it reflects on the y axis which doesn't matter, it doesn't matter too much for these guys, but you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. So let's just tackle a couple of, of uh, equations so we can see it. So let's look at uh, number 18. Number 18. Number 18 of your homework, or an example like your homework is y is equal to x minus 5 squared. So now we know we're dealing with a parabola because it's a squared. So we know it's a parabola because of that squared. And we know it's a U-shape. Then it asks us to describe the translation. So I don't, my a is 1. 
because there's an imaginary one here. Uh, my B is one. And my H is five because it's the opposite of what I see. And my K is zero. There's nothing outside here. So now if I look at this, they want me to describe the horizontal translation, which is that one. So we're going to move. Oops. Erase that. Write it better. We're going to move right five. We're not going to go move up. We're not going to, the steepness isn't going to change. So then they want us to sketch the graph. So we go here. We go one, two, three, four, five. We put our new starting point there at five because it said to shift right five. And then we draw our parabola. Okay. So that's really all they're asking on those first couple. Uh, if we look at, let's see here, what are they going to ask us? Let's look at number 18. No, 28. Sorry. 28. All right, so if, if we're going to look at number 28, it's y is equal to 4 times the absolute value of x. So let's look at this here. First, since it's absolute value, we know it's shaped in a V. Secondly, A is 4, and uh, B is 1. There's no H there. H is 0. There's no K on the outside, so K is 0. So this thing doesn't move at all. And what happens is, is we have started zero and zero, but now that this is, this is four, it's going to get a lot steeper. So one, two, three, four, over one and up four on both sides. So the dilation that happens is it dilates uh, and the way you can describe that I'm trying to come up with a way that'll help you describe it a little bit easier uh, I would say it it like it compresses or it like gets skinny, gets skinny on the X axis. In other words, it got, it got squished this way. And then you could say like, if it was, if this was a fraction, let's say it would get wider on the X axis. Okay. So just so you know, uh, the bigger the number, big equals skinny, and then small fraction equals uh, wider. Okay, so we can call this narrow too. All right, so let's just look at this next one. We're going to go to 36 here. Oops, 36. So if we go to 36, they want us to write the equation. And I gave you guys the answer here so you can kind of see where I'm going here. So they give us this and they want us to write this equation. So first, let's work backwards. Number one, we know it's a V shape. So a V shape equals absolute value so if we go to our parent function we have y equals a times oops uh, uh, absolute value of b x minus h did it again i keep writing a parabola plus k so let's look here's zero and zero right here so 
I moved one, two, three to the left. So that means H is negative three because I went to the left. I didn't move up at all. So K is zero. Let's see here. Uh, I go over one and up one. So that means my A is one over one. Uh, let's see, B, there is no B. Because I'm going to work backwards and I'm going to get, let's see where we go, at where A, uh, because it's not a fraction, so we're, we're good. So if this was a fraction, we'd be in trouble with B, but we're good. So B is 1. So let's just plug everything in. Y equals 1 times 1X minus a negative 3 plus 0. So if we clean all this up, Y equals the absolute value of X plus 3. So we're just finding our A, B, and C, A, our A, B, H, and K from the graphs, and then we're plugging them back in. All right, guys, we'll see you soon, and good luck with this one.